The smartwatch market is crowded with big brands and upstarts, but the Cuspet Tank T2 stands out as a great value for the price. It offers all the features you need in a smartwatch, including a long battery life, a durable design and a variety of health and fitness tracking features. In today's video, I'm going to show you everything you want to know about the Cospet Tank T2. It's packed with useful features which I'll be testing out in this video. I'll show you how to quickly go through the installation process, check its battery life and overall we'll see if it's worth the hype. I'll also be testing its measurements accuracy to see how well it performs, so stay tuned. Before we dive in, let's check what's in this white basic looking box. Inside we can find a user manual and a warranty card, the smartwatch itself a silicon wristband, a charging cradle and a screen protector with tools for easy application. Its all metal body and 9H dual glass cover make it incredibly durable and its 580M IP69K and military standard 810H certifications mean it can withstand even the harshest conditions like extreme temperatures, shocks and vibrations. The black frosted finish and two orange buttons give it a modern and technological look and the ABS back cover and the silicon strap make it comfortable to wear all day long. The T2 is available in two colors, black and silver. The black version has a stealthy military inspired design while the silver version has a more elegant and refined look. Both versions are stylish and eye catching and they will look great on any wrists. It's the second iteration of the Cospet Tank line and is designed for long and intense outdoor usage. At the back of the watch we can find a PPG sensor and a microphone. On the other side there are two rectangular orange buttons. The top one is a home button which also serves as a power on off button and the lower button gets you to the sports modes which we'll discuss in a minute. The T2 is also very comfortable to wear. The silicon strap is soft and adjustable and if you're not a fan of silicon straps, you can swap it out for any 22mm wide strap. I went for a vintage looking leather strap which gives the watch a unique look. The watch doesn't feel bulky or heavy on the wrist. You can wear it all day long without any discomfort. Overall, the outdoor design of T2 is excellent. It's built to last, it's stylish and it's comfortable to wear. It's probably one of the best basic rugged watches I've ever had. The T2 has a 1.40 inch AMOLED display with a resolution of 466 by 466 pixels. The display is bright and clear and it's easy to see in direct sunlight. The display is also very responsive and it's easy to navigate the menus and apps. The display is also customizable. You can change the watch face, the brightness and you can set up the always on display. The AOD looks great and doesn't really penalize the battery because it's AMOLED. To change the watch face or create your own dial, you'll need to have the companion app installed and watch has to be paired with your phone. I'll show you how to install the app now. The watch uses a dedicated companion app called Cospet Fit, which is free and simple to use. It's compatible with iOS and Android. Installing the app on the iPhone is very straightforward. All you have to do is scan the QR code either from the manual or from the watch initial screen. Then make sure the Bluetooth is turned on on your iPhone, open the app, create your account and go to the device tab to find your T2. Find Tank T2 on the list, tap on it, confirm the pairing and confirm all the requests for notifications. To make sure you can receive notifications and make and receive phone calls, go to Bluetooth call and enable this feature. You can also import your favorite and most used contact from your phone. For older iPhones, you will need to enable Bluetooth calling from the iPhone Bluetooth setting list and find the secondary Tank T2 connection. Pairing with an Android device requires a few more steps, but it's still easy. First, scan the QR code from the manual or from the display of the T2. This will take you to the app download page. Once the app is downloaded, make sure that Bluetooth is enabled on your Android phone. Then open the app, create your account and go to the device tab called Watch to find your T2. Please note that during the pairing process of an Android phone, users must grant permissions to the Cospet app in order to access certain functionality. The Android app needs specific phone permissions in order to maximize the features of your Tank device, such as access to sensitive information like contacts, device ID and call information, location or phone. These permissions must be granted manually during setup in order to ensure the full functionality of the watch and the companion app. 
you can also use a quick reply messages to reply to incoming messages. The watch doesn't let you type the text, so this is a simplified system, but it's great for quick replies on the go. You can create your own quick reply messages or use the default ones. This setting is the same for iOS and Android. As mentioned earlier, the watch allows for a bit of customization including the ability to change or create watch faces. The app offers around 70 watch faces to download. To change a watch face, simply tap on your favorite one and it will be synced to your watch. Additionally, you can create your own watch face using any photo or image saved in your phone's camera raw. Simply select the photo, crop it, choose the color and the position of the fonts, and then sync it to your watch. It's very simple. The system of the Tank 2 is also very simple. You don't need a manual. You can basically figure out all the functions by hand. The watch has only two buttons and their functions are engraved directly on the frame. The button below is specially designed for sports. Press it to select the mode you want among 70 sports modes. When talking about sports mode, let's take a closer look at the accuracy of the sports measurements in the T2. And before we carry on, make sure you're subscribed. First, let's check its step count measurements against the good old manual tally counter. I will do exactly 1000 steps manually clicking the tally counter on each step. We will then check if the watch and the tally counter get the same number of steps. Here we have tally counter 1000 and the T2 counted 994 steps, which is pretty good considering my steps were of various stride lengths, I walked with various speeds and even walked down the stairs. Unfortunately, the T2 does not have built-in GPS, but I can track my GPS route when I'm starting walking or running exercise from the app level. The app then takes the GPS location from my phone. A neat feature of the watch is that continuously records my heart rate while I'm wearing it. Let's check the accuracy of the heart rate measurements against a finger-clamped medical-grade pulse oximeter. I'm going to put on the watch and the oximeter and we'll see how close the readings are. First, let's check the resting heart rate. Okay, so the watch is measuring 59 beats per minute and the oximeter also shows 59. This was way too easy. Now let's see how the watch does during exercise. I'm going to go for a quick run and we'll do some press-ups and we'll check the heart rate measurements again afterwards. Alright, I'm back. Let's measure it again. I expect the readings to be slightly different but we'll see. The watch measured 106 beats per minute after my exercise and the oximeter 106, 105. That's a good accuracy of the heart rate measurements. Like most recent watches, the T2 also measures the oxygen blood saturation level, also known as SpO2. Let's check its accuracy against the oximeter. Here's the reading, 98% at the watch, 98% at the oximeter. That's okay with me. The T2 also uses its PPG sensors for blood pressure monitoring. I'm a bit skeptical about this as optical sensors will never get the same accuracy level as medical grade curved blood pressure monitors. But let's check it out. Here I have the medical grade Omron monitor. I'll check the blood pressure at the watch first. It's important to have it on a sitting position at the heart level and obviously to sit still during the measurement. Here we have 124 over 82 millimeters of mercury or 124 systolic pressure and 82 diastolic pressure according to T2. That's a slight pre-hypertension so not that bad considering the amount of coffee I'm consuming. Now let's see what the medical grade device will say. Here's the reading. 127 over 81 millimeters of mercury, that's close, but let's not forget the watch is not a medical grade device, so don't use it as a definitive diagnosis. If you're concerned about your blood pressure, better talk to your doctor. You can make calls with the watch, as it has a speaker and a microphone. The volume and the clarity of the audio are good and loud, both for you and for the person you're talking to. The Tank 2 also supports one button SOS rescue calls. You only need to hold down the second button to make SOS rescue call. The rescue number can be loaded via the app too. You can't play music independently on the watch, but you can control the volume level of the phone and switch songs. The watch also displays all the incoming notifications from your phone. You can set up which notifications you want to receive in the companion app. If there's an app that you don't see on the list, you can add it yourself. If standard SMS messages are not being displayed, you also need to grant permissions via the phone's permission manager, exactly the same as for the phone calls. If you already did it during or after pairing of the watch, then it all should work just fine. 
The T2 has a Bluetooth range of 5 to 8 meters, which is good enough for most people. I was able to make calls, control music and get notifications without any problems as long as I was within that range. However, if you're someone who always on the go, you might find that the watch disconnects from your phone more often. For example, if you're taking a call and you walk away from your phone, the call might drop. This is a common issue with all watches that have Bluetooth calling. Bluetooth is a short-range wireless technology so it's easily blocked by walls and other objects. If you need a watch with long Bluetooth range, you might want to look at a different option, but if you are looking for a watch with all the basic features, the T2 is a great choice. The Cospet Tank 2 has a 410 mAh battery and an average charging time of around 2 hours. The manufacturer claims that the battery life can last up to 15 days on normal use and around 50 days on standby. In my experience, the T2's battery life exceeded expectations. I was able to get about a week of use out of the watch before it needed to be charged. Even with the always-on display enabled, Bluetooth always connected and the brightness of the screen set to medium. So in a summary, the Cospet Tank T2 is a good smartwatch for those looking for a good battery life and durable build and a good 1.43 inch AMOLED display with a high resolution and watch which offers accurate health and sport measurements, has a built-in speaker and microphone and the ability to make and receive calls directly from your wrist. It also supports a variety of sports modes. In my own testing, I found that the T2 was very accurate in tracking my heart rate, blood oxygen levels and struggled a bit with tracking my sleep. I also found that the built-in speaker and the microphone were clear and easy to use. So I could honestly say I highly recommend the Cospet Tank T2. It cost around $109 US, 109 British pounds or 93 euros. That's a great value for the smartwatch with all of the features that T2 has to offer. Of course, I'm not telling you to go out and buy it right now, but if you're in the market for a new smartwatch, the T2 is definitely worth checking out. You can find it on Amazon by scanning the QR code which pops in at the screen right now or at the links in the video description. Okay guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed that video and found it pretty informative and useful. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe so you won't miss when the next video comes out.